with Dr. Amano to do a video on Beer's Law. Hey, Dr. Amano, did I hear beer? Not the beer you're thinking of, young lady. This is known as the Beer Lambert Law, and I'm going to discuss this with you. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the author of the Death Destroyer book. I'm going to go over with you today a law known as the Beer Lambert Law. This is a law most students don't know, and it's in the Death Destroyer, and I think we should discuss it. So come around and have a look. I don't know about you guys, but I love pretty colors. Um, if you go to my study group and you look at my notes that I've created for you for the bio, you'll notice that a lot of those graphics have these beautiful colors. Um, I think colors are wonderful. It gives you a good perspective of things, and it sort of makes studying a little bit easier and actually fun. Um, color is a component of light. And if you absorb one of the light components, you would see what we call the, the complementary color. For example, if you absorb red light, that means the color that you actually see is green. If you were to absorb orange light, you actually see the complementary color of blue. Now, the amount of light that a substance absorbs is gonna be measured by a device called a spectrophotometer. If you've never seen it, I'm sure if you went to school and asked one of the professors, can you show me what a spectrophotometer looks like? They'll be more than happy to show you what it looks like. Now, the greater the concentration of a substance, the more light would have the ability to be absorbed. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a law called the beer lambert Law, and that says that A equals EBC. Now, A stands for absorbance. The little e stands for the constant. We call this the molar extinction coefficient. B represents the distance that the light travels, and C is going to stand for the concentration. Now, I hope you can see from this formula that concentration and absorbance are on opposite sides of the equation, which means they're directly related. And that's gonna be important to understand in this problem. Now, the first thing we wanna do here is I give you a solution and I give you the concentration and I give you the absorbance. And then I give you another solution and I give you the concentration and I want the absorbance. So what we gotta do on a problem like this is to simply set up a ratio. Since these are directly related, I can say that concentration one over concentration two is going to be absorbance one over absorbance two. Let's plug in. The first concentration I see is seven to the minus five. The next concentration, C2, is one to the minus four. The first absorbance was 0.175, and I'm going to solve for A2. I cross multiply. Don't worry about the numbers not being nice. The, on the dot, they'll work wonderfully, and in the destroyer, they work wonderfully. So what I'll do is I'll crisscross multiply, as you can see, and when I solved it, we get 0.25. I hope this helps. If you understand this much, I think you'll be fine for the dot. I have two questions on the beer Lambert Law, or Beer's Law for short, in the dot destroyer, and you'll have no problem sailing through. Okay, good day to you. Cheers. Bye-bye.